items used for 2014 Acura MDX brake bleed and flush. One man brake bleeder system by All Star. This is a uh, brake fluid DOT. That's Honda OEM brake fluid. You can use any fluid though. Um, parts cleaner. We can use this. We use this. We just wiped off the uh, reservoir with that. We're gonna wipe down the reservoir before we um, do anything. A 10 millimeter open end wrench. And a screwdriver. I just use this to get the um, the rubber off of the brake bleeder screw. All right, let's get into it. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Brooklyn Bionic here. Today we're gonna be doing a one-man bleeding process on a 2014 Acura MDX. I'm gonna be using one of these thingamajigs, and they say you can make one of these yourself. You know put a hole in a regular bottle and all sorts of things but I went and bought one this thing cost me about 15 bucks on Amazon all-star performance break one man break the leader bottle now all these things are cut perfect I mean when you put this on uh, the hole sits right at the bottom there this even has a check valve in it so fluid or air don't don't go back up into it so that's that's a positive thing right there. And I just like the way it's built. It's a, it's a cool invention. So I'm going to use this. This pops off, of course. You can put that right over the bleeder. The bleeder. Look how tight that is. When you put that over the bleeder screw, there's, there's a small chance of air getting through it. So this thing, I like it. It's, it's built good. All-star performance. This is the one. They have one with, with the check valve and without the check valve. This is the one with the check valve. So, um, I'm going to start here. This is the, they say you're supposed to start from the furthest bleeder away from the reservoir slash master cylinder. So this, this is the passenger side rear wheel. I'm going to start here first and then I'm going to go around. But I'm only going to do two tires. You know, it's the same process for the whole car. So I don't think you, I'm not going to show you all four tires. Let's get to it. Okay. I'm at the brake fluid reservoir. I already cleaned this up. Uh, I took some uh, brake cleaner, sprayed it on a napkin, and wiped this up. Because I want to, not only do you want contaminants going to this thing, but you know you want to see your lines. I want to see my max line and my minimum line. As you're pumping brake fluid, as you're using the brakes to pump brake fluid into there, this thing is gonna diminish. You have to keep tabs on this when you're pumping that brake fluid because this is gonna you don't want this to run dry. But in the meantime, since we're flushing this, I'm gonna try to get out as much brake fluid as possible. Uh, let me use two hands here. Let's take this thing out. Set it down. Now I'm going to use the same bottle. But since, 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 since this thing is not going to suck fluid back into there, it's okay to use the dirty brake fluid. We don't want any air getting into the system. And we're going to fill this up. Well, you can't really see through this bottle here, but we're going to fill it up above where the tube lands. And this brake fluid stuff is really corrosive. It'll mess up your paint. So watch how you're doing it. And if you get something on your car, wipe it up immediately. Don't wait. That's good enough for me. Now the max line is the max line is somewhere over here. I don't know if you can see that. It says max, and the minimum line is way down deep in the front. You can see the max on top and the minimum right below the max. It's at the bottom. So that's enough for me. I'm gonna cover this thing. Well, not fully cover it. Just uh, I don't want anything flowing back into it. I'm going to leave it partially open so that I don't create a vacuum. 
when I'm pumping a brake pedal and fluid is coming out of this. I don't want to create a vacuum, so I'm going to leave it cracked so that air can get into it. Okay, YouTube. So I have my um, old fluid inside my new bottle. I'm going to put this in there. Tighten it up. Oh, did I mention this thing has a magnet on it? So as you're doing it, you can just leave it on a piece of iron, any, any piece of iron, and it stays there. Okay. We're going to pull this off. First things first. This bleed, this bleed is protected by a little piece of rubber. There we have it. That's the bleeder. Next of next. This thing for my particular car, the 2014 Acura MDX, uses a 10 meter, 10, 10, 10 millimeter wrench for the bleeder screw. So this is gonna be good. No, so we're gonna put it way up top so that when we get more torque on it. All right, remember I was telling you I love this thing? You see how tight this thing is? And the bleeder screw? Look, look like it doesn't fit, right? push it, it just goes right over it. I mean, there's minimal chance for air to escape from that. Check this out. I'm just going to stick it right there. Boom. Look at the setup. How you like that? Now, I'm going to let you guys sit here. This is a one-man thing, so I'm going to open up the bleeder. I'm going to open up the bleeder screw, and then I'm going to go in the car and pump it up. And you can see everything that happens here. Let me back it up a little bit. All right, let's open it up. Wow, this thing is pretty tight. There we go. I don't know if you can see the fluid flowing through that. Air whatsoever is escaping that. I don't see. I don't even see any air bubbles. So I'm just gonna give it a few pumps. And my fluid is not that dirty, so this is kind of a difficult information video. But I'm gonna get some of it out there anyway. What did we do? It was about that much, now it's that much. You know what? I think this one is fully bled. And uh, like I said, my fluid is not that dirty, so there's no air in there and there's no dirty fluid. So I'm gonna tighten this up. I think this is a done job over here. first done job over here I like this thing this thing is good I mean I not that often I'm gonna bleed brakes but if I was a mechanic a real mechanic which I'm not I definitely have this thing okay you two both to the next tire this is the driver side rear. So same situation. Before you even do this, before you even every wheel, after you pump every wheel, after about eight pumps, you want to check that master cylinder, check that reservoir. Because you don't want that thing to run dry. Make sure you got fluid in there. And if you don't see any fluid in there, pour some more in there and then you come back to the tire. But after about eight pumps, you want to check, you want to check that master cylinder again. Alright. Oh, where's my wrench? 
almost forgot. Now I'm gonna get it down a little bit more. Perfect. I'm gonna put this on there. Perfect. Yeah. Is that a better view for you guys? Nope. Nope, not at all. Here we go. We'll back out of it a little bit so that you can see what's going on. I'm gonna open this up. See how fluid immediately starts. I don't know if you can see that, but it's right here. It's running up, it's running up. This thing works good. I don't know if you can see that. This is not exactly a clear hose, but you can definitely see how much this is rising. I'm gonna go pump the brakes. Okay, YouTube. You see, I just went and checked the master cylinder. I should have brought you with me, but it was definitely getting low. I had to add more fluid just to be safe. So I'm going to give a few more pumps. Think that's good enough. Let's tighten this up. Take this off. Tighten it up a little bit more. Perfect. Put the rubber protection back on. Gotta protect yourself with the rubbers. <laughs> oh, no, no. And there you have it. I'm gonna go and do all four tires, all four wheels. But, um, yeah, that thing's dirty. Now it's getting dirty. Maybe this was the line that had the bad fluid in there. A, a guy, uh, deleted, deleted, and he claimed he uh, flushed it, but you never know with these mechanics. If you can do something yourself, do it yourself. Okay, YouTube. I just finished up all four wheels. I didn't get too much dirt or air in the system on all the two wheels. But now I'm just going to finish up. I'm going to pour this in. Wait a minute, make sure this is and flat I don't want to splash it all over the place make sure this is full since I'm done no as a matter of fact let's put this in first all right here we go nice even pour uh, I'm just gonna go until it's Maximum. Here we go. Right now it's max. 
I'm gonna give it one more. I'm gonna pump the brakes one more time, just to make sure all the fluid is right. Maybe this might diminish a little bit. I don't know. We just leave it cracked. Perfect. Let's go pump the brakes one more time. Okay, to you, YouTube. Uh, maybe just a dash. I just gave it a final pump. Just want to fill this up to the max now. Good to go. Now we can cover it up. And there you have it. Break, bleed, and flush. 2014 Acura MDX. Brooklyn Bionic. Out.